Do you think they're allergies or food sensitivities? Oh, oh my God. This is a, I have a lot of doctors have patients. This is a huge fight. Okay. Let me be, let me be doctor correct here. Let me be doctor correct. Okay. Food sensitivity because it's not an IgE, IgE response, which is, by the way, Dr. Silva, I, I want to tell you this. Years ago, I started doing the pin prick test, right? Because the IgE on the skin, right? I did that because they were giving me $800 to do that test in the office. So I pin and prick. If you sneeze on my, if you fire on my office, I did a pin prick on my office, right? Mm. And I said, okay, I'm going to get this test and I'm going to see what happens. And then I get, I did like 300 of those tests and I compare those tests to the patient. I said, are you having this? Do we eliminate the food? Nothing happened. When I did the IgG or the food sensitivity, that's when I start getting to response to patients. So for those people there that I'd say, oh, I check my allergies. If you did a pinprick or IgE, absolutely forced. I prefer you to do an IgA and IgG for true food allergies. Now, IgE for environmental allergies, yes. But I still would do, don't come to my office with an IgE because it doesn't tell me anything. All it tells me is an aphylactic reaction. That's the only thing. Otherwise, it doesn't show anything. I'm happy you said it correctly. IgG, IgA, maybe IgM, secretory IgA. Yes. IgM, Maybe. we yes, got sir. it. We are now doctor correct. I'm big on food sensitivities.